Now, since the introduction of the Nigerian Pension Reforms Act in 2004, how has the financial system been improved by some of these reforms, if at all? Well, uh, before 19, uh, 2004, there were no serious uh, institutional investors in Nigeria. Um, you had insurance companies and you have the asset management companies. And by way of, you know, just to give you an indication of size, the institutional investors, then the insurance company, the largest one had about $150 million, you know, in asset portfolio. And the largest institutional investor, the, the mutual funds, had less than $200 million. Now, the pension fund has sort of, you know, organized the a compulsory, which is like a compulsory savings scheme, has sort of created a pool of investable funds, which is now able to support the financial markets. Um, if you look at the bond market, uh, before now, the longest paper in Nigeria up until 2003 were 90-day papers, the Treasury bills. Now, that coincided with the pioneering effort of the former uh, finance minister to create the long-term bond market. Now we have 20-year bond market, 20-year uh, uh, papers in the market. We had seven years and we have 10 years papers. We also have corporates and subnational bonds being issued, and pension funds are the largest investors mm -hmm. in these, you know, asset classes. You also look at the equity market. Um, the pension funds, I would say, constitute a, um, a consistent buying power in the market. Right. And when the foreign uh, portfolio managers exited the market two years ago, the pension funds, you know, held their portfolios, right. particularly in some of the very good stocks. So whilst you know a lot of people were leaving the market, the, the pension funds saw the op uh, opportunity to buy at what are ba bargain right. prices and therefore provided stability to the financial market in that respect. All right. Now, Dave, as of quarter one of year 2010, pension fund accumulation in Nigeria is said to be standing at about 1.6 trillion naira. So it's definitely a vibrant and growing sector. 38 pension fund administrators uh, available on the market and 4 million mm -hmm. contributors. Now, with such extensive uh, exposure on the Nigerian uh, capital markets just by way of investing in bonds and shares and bank deposits, as you've been telling us. What's the system of protecting them from some of the issues that have emerged in the banking crisis in Nigeria? And what's the regulatory framework like? Well, um, there, there are 26 um, pension funds in Nigeria and there are seven closed pension funds. In other words, the pension funds run by corporations. Now, by way of regulation, the pension funds can only invest a certain percentage of, of the assets in certain asset classes. I mean, specifically, the pension funds can't invest more than 25% in equities, which meant that even when the market went down, the pension funds in 2008 lost only about 1%, whereas the market went down by close to 37%. Now, um, a lot of the pension assets are invested in government securities, bonds, um, sovereign bonds, subnational bonds, and corporate bonds. So by way of asset allocation, we can only invest up to 35% in, mm -hmm. in banks. Now, we can only invest in uh, uh, credit, credit worthy banks, in other words, banks that have ratings of A plus and above. And when the banking crisis did happen, one of the good things that the central bank did was to guarantee all pension fund investment in banks and interbank placements. So in a sense, the pension funds, pension assets were shielded from the turbulence in the market uh, by way of regulation. Um, the regulator is very strict. I would say it's one of the highly regulated and best regulated industries in Nigeria today. The regulator is very strict. We submit returns on a daily basis where the regulator sees right. whatever we do at the end of every day. So in a sense, the pension assets have been shielded from the turbulence. But obviously, I mean, as participants in the financial markets, you cannot completely shield pension funds. So we, you know, it depends on the skills of the investment right. manager in each, in, each, in each scheme. Now, in terms of the role of the pension funds, in terms of the broader economic development of Nigeria, how are they structured or how do they view themselves? Because you have in South Africa, for instance, there have been calls by the Minister of Economic Development to take a proportion of the earnings of pension funds and direct them into government bonds so that we can try to fill the financing gap for infrastructure in the country. It's still a discussion point, but it's one of the proposals on the table because they're seen to have an obligation to the broader developmental process. In countries like Chile, uh, the savings pool from pension funds have um, limited the propensity of Chileans to rely on uh, short-term capital flows into the economy because there's a wide enough pool for public investment from there. Is that the kind of role that pension funds play in um, Nigeria? 
Yes, I mean, it's similar role, though it's at an embryoic stage, because um, you have to understand that infrastructure as an asset class in Nigeria has not been properly structured. Now, the discussion going around now with, between the regulator, SEC, um, the pension fund administrators, and the infrastructure commission is how to direct pension funds into this asset class. In other words, how do we create either infrastructure bonds or infrastructure funds that will then use some of these pension funds to invest in infrastructure? But what is happening now today is that pension funds do invest in government securities, and then government has the liberty to use the monies to either finance a deficit in the budget or to put it in direct infrastructure spend. So in a sense, pension fund is seen as a pool of um, you know, national f assets that could prevent mm -hmm. the country from undue dependence on foreign capital. And by way of just a comparison, the, the proposed uh, sovereign wealth fund um, for Nigeria, even if it takes off, mm -hmm. I don't think that you will have as much assets as the pension, uh, pension funds in Nigeria. So mm -hmm. I think that what, where we are today is a discussion going around as to how to use the pension funds to provide or finance the housing deficit through uh, mortgage bonds right. and how to directly you know channel it into infrastructure fi financing all right dave uh, our guest host kwebi lakranji would like to ask you a question kwebi hi dave um maybe you can uh, maybe just answer this question briefly um if um if if, if the majority of the assets are invested in bonds i get the feeling that you don't allow for a huge amount of, st of stock to be held uh, in, in these pension funds. Um, how, do you then, how do you then allow for a, for a growth element in these? Because obviously you need stock to grow. Well, I mean, 25% of the funds can be invested in stocks or equities. Um, well, you know, when we started, because the thinking then was that since the new industry, it's better to invest it in asset classes that are not, you know, subject to unduly wide fluctuations in the market. Now I'll accept that is a bit of time now to relax some of those um, investment guidelines and to increase allocation to real asset classes like stocks or pension index bonds or private equities or infrastructure. You know, so, but what has happened, I mean, coincidentally, um, because of the regulation of the asset allocation, it prevented the pension funds from, you know, the undue turbulence that happened over the last three years as, as a result of the global financial mm -hmm. crisis. Now the regulator is looking at it, and I'm quite hopeful that over the next six months, some of those um, uh, laws will be reviewed to allow us to invest in real asset classes that would then, you know, lead to um, growth in, in, in overall assets. Is that okay? uh, Dave, just just another question: are, Do you, in Nigerian pension funds, just for you know, for you know, for other viewers of, of the show, are, do you allow uh, the holding of international equities, or is it predominantly only Nigerian equities that are held? Well, well, at the moment, only totally Nigerian equities. Again, one of the areas the, the regulator and you know I, the regulator and the pension fund uh, as a whole, and you know some of us have on those committees we're looking at is how can we incorporate foreign securities, and we're really looking at foreign securities to serve as some sort of hedge against the valuation of the local currency. So I suspect that if that law is reviewed, we'll be more looking at investing in bonds issued by maybe sovereign bonds of emerging markets and, you know, rather than and, and foreign equities. However, I suspect that we might be able to buy into foreign equities using um, funds and other sort of ETF or index, index products. And then, Dave, a final question from me, just in terms of your medium-term outlook for uh, Nigerian pensions. We know that the stock market in Nigeria hasn't been performing particularly well in previous sessions and over the last few months. We've just seen a modest recovery in the last few days. We know that inflation is above 11%. And for anybody wanting to invest um, in government securities, that's going to be an issue that affects them. And anybody wanting to come into the Nigerian um, pension environment, given the poor performance of the capital, markets there might be a disincentive what's the mitigating factor that could kind of make it a little bit more attractive as opposed to just a necessity to put away money for retirement well <laughs> that's a very difficult one um you're right um at the moment inflation is running at, at close to 12 percent whilst the model of, the, of, of of any pension fund based on asset allocation could yield you between between 10 and maximum 11 percent however we have seen issuance by subnationals and corporates um, bond with coupon of 13.5, 12%. So we also looking at issuance, more issuance from the corporates uh, because 
currently the corporates are able to borrow monies from banks that are 15 16 percent but while they issue bonds or even commercial papers of th uh, th um, 360 days one year duration they could get 12 or 13 percent so we believe that the introduction of such papers will enhance the yield of the, of uh, um, of the portfolio and i think that you know what is happening in the equities market in 2007 for instance the pension asset pension funds returned about 25 percent so in a sense what is happening in the equities market i don't think it's something that will last for a very long time i suspect that by next year or even this year as we speak to you today most pension funds are up about 12 percent year to date right. so except the market goes and i suspect that will be above inflation at the end of this year